Hello everyone, welcome to another technology moment. Today I'm gonna share with you the experience that we had and also what you can expect from this multi-purpose access point from Wavlink. This is the AC1200, which features this camouflage pattern that actually looks very cool. And I mean multi-purpose because it can act as a repeater, as a mesh node, or as an access point. You will receive it well packaged with the accessories needed for you to install it and have it up and running in no time. Assembling it is way easier than it may seem, but you may have to be very careful first not to switch the antennas as they are intended to be used with each radio, and second, taking care of each gasket and hermetic seal as they are very important so the access point will not lose its weatherproof protection. It is protected even at the bottom with this specifically designed gasket for its wiring. IP rating is not specified, but I would guess it's at least IP65. You have to connect it directly to its power over Ethernet adapter. It will not work with a power over Ethernet switch, as you can see right here, and it has to use its original power over Ethernet injector. Configuration is very easy. You just have to do it from a client connected to its default wireless network. I hard reset it a couple times just for testing purposes, and both times it went straight to its configuration page. Our advice is not to leave this smart DHCP feature active, as you can see here on screen, as it may be of conflict in some networks, and some clients, even in the wired network, may lose network access. So I would just disable it. After that, menus are very intuitive and the interface is fast. Provisioning of the device is also fast, so changes are applied in a matter of seconds. I just wouldn't pay attention to the user's guide as wiring explanations are just so confusing. Just note that right here you can connect the power over Ethernet network and right here you can connect any other device that you need network access from. It might as well be another access point, a laptop or even a switch. Are you going to be able to use it without these antenna angle holders? Sure, and about that we've always argued how important in some cases the angle of the antennas is. So it's really up to you in your particular environment if you decide to use it or not. Antenna angles severely affect the coverage pattern of your Wi-Fi signals. As usual, we put ourselves to work and test this unit and actually connectivity as well as stability, which is as important, was outstanding. Let me show you. First, we're gonna test how it goes from this location, which is about 15 meters from the building and the access point is about 10 meters inside. And there is a couple light walls between us. It features, and we were able to prove it, high power radius and high sensitivity. As we recently noted again, is not enough that a given access point is able to transmit at a high power, but also it is important that they are able to listen to the most distant clients. We've already used it for quite some time as a repeater and an access point. Uh, a recommendation as always when deploying mesh networks is to use the same hardware for all the nodes. However, the manufacturer claims that you can mesh these with compatible models featuring mesh buttons. As a repeater, the Wi-Fi signal, speed and stability is gonna be that of the source signal. Hence, the important to place the repeater or a mesh node where the source signal is still good. And that is one of the reasons why coverage is dramatically increased just by locating one of these units somewhere in the middle. Let's take a look, for example, at the speed that we reached when connected in both networks in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Here at 10 meters, you're gonna see in the left the 2.4 gigahertz band, and in your right, you're gonna see the five gigahertz speeds that we reached. These are the speeds that we reached at 60 meters, with line of sight, of course. And this is the speed that we reached at 100 meters. We even tried going further. Remember that this is having a line of sight, so it is important, as we said last time, for huge coverage of open areas. Okay, and right here, this is one test that we thought it was not gonna pass. Not only because the access point is behind those trees, but it is about 90 meters behind it. As for stability, we do not have anything to highlight. We didn't experiment any disconnections, but if such things were to happen, the access point features an auto reboot programming, which is something always very handy. Okay, guys, I really hope that this video is as informative as it was intended. Please keep in mind that the idea with our videos is to help you make an informed decision. See you next time.